Hey guys, my name is Rezero and welcome to another block spotlight. Now this has been requested like a lot and it's a block spotlight about the auto brewer block from Mine Factory Reloaded. I've got one set up here and before we get to that I would like to take a quick look at the crafting recipe. Now I did remove my previous setup for recording uh, videos for Mine Factory Reloaded. So uh, now I'm currently on the Feed the Beast Unleashed pack and this uh, uses a slightly different crafting recipe. So uh, Mine Factory Reloaded has, uh, depending on what mods are installed, options to uh, make the crafting recipe a bit more difficult. And uh, the Unleashed pack here by default uses the, um, the uh, well, Thermal Expansion uh, crafting recipe. So let's have a quick look at that. So the uh, crafting recipe in the Unleashed pack here uh, with the Thermal Expansion uh, crafting recipe, which by the way, you can enable uh, in your own modded Minecraft as well. If you have Thermal Expansion installed, it's an option in the config file for my factory loaded. But so uh, this crafting recipe uses two redstone repeaters at the bottom here, then some redstone reception coils, uh, machine frame in the middle now I'm not going to get into these seeing as they're not my factory loaded blocks then uh, at the top here we have a brewing stand and of course some plastic sheets on the sides here these plastic sheets uh, can be crafted from raw plastic which can be obtained by smelting the rubber bar from mine factory reloaded or rubber from any other mod such as rubber from industrial craft all right now uh, the default standard crafting recipe uh, I have set up here in this pattern encoder and this basically has the same redstone repeaters down here but the rest is completely different so you have the factory machine block from my factory reloaded um, this is also crafted using plastic sheets then you have the chests on the side here you have a brewing stand in the middle and some plastic sheets on the top all right so now let's have a look at the block itself. Now, the auto brewer, well, the name might already be fairly obvious, makes potions for you, like a brewing stand, but it does that automatically. Now I've got a bit of a setup here. I'm going to quickly uh, remove that it's from previous testing. But uh, yeah, so you can power this using, like any my factory loaded machine, by the way, using Minecraft tools from Buildcraft, some EUs from uh, the industrial craft mod or finally some kilojoules from the universal uh, electricity mods all right and uh, i've got a redstone energy cell here to power it up and the rest of the setup i'll explain later so basically what we want to do first is get ourselves a water bottle now i'm going to uh, quickly get a couple more and what we want to do is insert the water bottle into the potion column here. Okay, so we have a column for potions, col a column for type, and a column for resources. Now, the first thing we want to do is make an awkward potion. All right, so this basic, uh, the basic uh, potion you need to uh, create any other potion. So those are just default Minecraft mechanics. All right, so we have our water bottle in here, and next we need to add some nether wards. Right, so I've got some here. And to do this, well, we have to throw it into our resources uh, area here, but that's not enough. So first of all, keep in mind, you are going to have the potion right here. Okay. So uh, a water bottle, for example, in this case. And over here, our resources we want to add to that has to be on the same row. So that's very important to keep in mind. Okay, now the next thing we have to do, if we wanted to add the nether ward to the potion, is actually add the nether ward in the type column. Now, it won't hold an actual item, it'll just, if you uh, right or left click it with the item, it'll just uh, store the image of uh, in there. So it knows what type it is, what, what it has to add to the water bottle, basically. Now, it'll uh, process it using 160 work units and the potion will move out of the uh, current slot into the next one so the next row and we have our aqua potion there now let's see if we can turn that into a strength potion so for that we can uh, place some blaze powder in this row and keep in mind you can fill up 
all of these slots with resources so we can also throw that in there for example and now it will turn our potion into a strength potion all right now you're probably wondering well you know if it can if it moves it down every time can't i have it process multiple potions well yeah of course so basically what you'll do is you'll throw a water bottle in the top slot here and it'll work it'll process it and then like before it'll move down into the next row but you can also throw another water bottle in the first slot so you can just keep the whole thing going and it'll process those two rows at the same time so everything will move down and now it will stop working because well we have our potion of strength here and there's nothing here to process it so this one the awkward potion can't move down because the potion of strength is uh, currently blocking that slot but if we take it out of there there we go it's working again and well you can just you know continue this whole thing for example you can add some glowstone dust to make it a strength potion too well let's take some out of there all right and you can for example also add some gunpowder to make it into a splash potion of strength too and you can keep going inserting water bottles uh, you know, let's throw our potion of strength in there and now we have our splash potion of strength here okay and well it keeps moving down now because there was a slot free here so it wasn't completely jammed up so that's just why it keeps moving down now it can't move down anymore and it's jammed up again all right so keep that in mind however all of the rows that aren't in use so that don't have a type selected will also be selected as an output slot so if you for example have and i have set it up here with a wooden pipe to extract it so you can use any form of item transport for this by the way but i've used the wooden pipe here because sort of the default example of item transport so we have our wooden pipe to extract items from the auto brewer with a redstone engine and if i turn this on it will start extracting the output rows all right so it extracted our splash potion from the row that did not have a type and it's in chest now but it won't extract anything else so if you are processing a potion it will not extract it until it's processed keep in mind it will also uh, sorry it will also extract items in the resources columns that don't have a type so keep that in mind as well all right so that's basically how the output works how the processing works now you might be wondering well i want to automate this you know i want to build a, a whole setup that will make potions automatically well you can do that okay you can also insert items into this and basically what it'll do is you'll insert an item and it'll check well is this item a potion and if it's a potion it'll throw it into the correct column and if it's a resource it'll throw it into the correct column as well so we've got a hopper here and of course again you can use any form of item transport you can use pipes to do this or whatever but i'm going to use a hopper that's sort of convenient All right just throw it on the top there and let's see i should get some more water bottles so we'll throw these in here and you saw it disappear because it threw it into the first slot there and now if this is done it'll throw the next one in there but this also works with resources so i can throw all of these resources into the hopper all right and the water bottle it'll keep inserting until that particular slot is filled up okay so we have uh, still plenty of room to add resources but it'll throw all of that in there now i'm going to quickly move the potion uh, well the water bottle over there there we go and you know it'll just keep doing that so i'm just going to place some more water bottles in there and it'll keep working you can keep inserting and basically automate this whole thing so that's pretty much everything there is to know about the auto brewer i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one